I think about that summer day when I went on my first date. We danced in an empty parking lot to a song I since forgot. And the first time I held his hand, I thought this boy could be a man. We must have been watching a movie. I think it was Toy Story 3. As long as you remember me and all the Hey friends and welcome back to my channel Organized with Joy. In today's video, I'm here in my laundry room. I'm going to be doing some deep cleaning, potentially some decluttering. We'll have to take a look and see what we have in here. As you might see behind me on this shelf, I have stacked a whole bunch of stuff that I've decluttered from other spaces. I need to get that organized into the basket that I keep in here to declutter items. I finally got rid of last month's declutter haul, anti-haul, and so I am going to put everything in this basket now that it's empty again, but I just need to get this space nice and deep cleaned, including my washer and dryer. So I thought I would take you along for some motivation for your day, so let's get into this. Also, I did want to mention that today's video is a Thoughtful Thursday video, and if you're new to my channel or don't know what that means, it just means that in a little while here, I'm going to share my thoughts on a topic in the voiceover. So stay tuned. In a little while, I will be sharing my thoughts. But that's how I'll remember me and you, and that's the thing about time. You cannot press rewind If remembering's all I can do That's how I'll hold on to you Thank you. 
Okay, friends, for today's Thoughtful Thursday video, I wanted to encourage you, if you are in a difficult season in life, it is only a season. I have been thinking about seasons as we are finally changing seasons here in Austin. We are finally having some fall-like weather where the mornings have cooler, crisper air. When people talk about challenging times in life, they often refer to an analogy that the winter was long and hard, but spring is coming. For those of us in Texas, an analogy that resonates more is the summer was long and hard, but fall is coming. By late September, I am so tired of the hot weather, and I'm just longing for the crisp, cool mornings of true fall. Sometimes when we are walking through a difficult season in life, it can feel so long and like it will never end. Somewhat like the summer feels if you live in the southern states. Just like it's hard to imagine the weather being cooler, in hard seasons of life, it's hard to imagine that things will feel positive and hopeful again. I want to assure you, no matter how long you have been walking through a tough season, there is hope on the other side. You will one day feel the crispness of fall. I myself have been walking through a pretty tough season in life that has lasted quite a long time. I am just now seeing glimpses of hope that remind me that we will not forever be in that difficult season. There is hope for a change that is coming. I know more than anyone the perseverance it takes to live in a season that is challenging, so I can assure you that you can make it out on the other side. While it can feel refreshing to exit a season of hardship, change is really never easy, at least for most people. Even when things are changing for the good, it can be scary to deal with the unknowns. Being aware and realistic with ourselves as we head into that new season can really help with this transition. While I was so excited for the cooler weather to return to Austin, I realized I had to change my schedule and go for a run a little bit later in the mornings now because it was not as comfortable first thing in the morning. It made me realize that we do need to be aware that change, even if it's good, is not always easy. Leaving a difficult season of life can bring so much opportunity for personal growth, finding purpose in life, and embracing a new perspective from what you learned in the season of darkness. So often, it is in the difficult seasons of life that we actually grow the most, learning empathy and compassion, becoming more strong and resilient, and becoming more self-assured. Also, in a season of hardship, we may learn the value of self-reflection as we process the difficulties we have endured and the value of acceptance as we may have had to learn to accept the way things are for that period of time. 
we must take these lessons with us as we move into a brighter and more hopeful season in life. This can be a great time to reevaluate your life because of the new outlook and potential new opportunities. Well, friends, I hope this chat was inspiring or encouraging to you today. As always, I love to hear your thoughts on my thoughts. I hope you might share your thoughts on this topic of changing seasons down in the comments. And I hope that you might stick around for the rest of this video to get some more deep cleaning and decluttering motivation. myself in I do usually clean the floors when I deep clean this space. I will move the washer and dryer and clean underneath, but I did not have time on this day, so I will have to do that on another day.
I did want to show you I have these two trees that I used to put on my porch for Christmas time and I'm going to go ahead and let go of them. They're not in great condition anymore and then I did decide to just continue to hold on to some of these clothes that I put in here a few months ago. But those clothes I put in here um, a few months ago just to determine if I missed them or wanted to bring them back into my wardrobe. I'm going to leave them in there until the end of the year and then reassess when the new year comes if I do in fact want to go ahead and let go of those clothes. Okay friends, that is all I have for today's video. I hope this brought you some motivation to get a space in your home cleaned, and I hope that you were inspired or encouraged by the thoughts that I shared for my Thoughtful Thursday today. But as always, thanks so much for watching until the end, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.